Hi, this video is from interview.com. Interview.com is a job portal. If you are looking for a job, you can log on to interview.com and you can post your resume with us. In this video, I am going to talk about one of the important Java entry questions. Can you make an instance of an abstract class? No, you cannot make an instance of an abstract class. An abstract class has to be subclassed. So, the Java compiler expects abstract class to be subclass. Some class should extend it and start using the methods. If you have an abstract class and you want to use a method which has been implemented, you may need to subclass that abstract class, instantiate your subclass and then call that method. So I have an abstract class here with the abstract signature. Okay, that mean that means this method means this signature means some subclass, some child class which should extend this class and give a body for this. If you see there is no body whereas other methods has the body and implementation but for this one we are expecting a subclass to give the sp specific implementation and I, for example I have for the demo purpose I have created an implementer class subclass which extends the abstract class and I am creating a, a body for that method if I don't give this compile will crib it says you are extending an abstract class you don't you didn't give an implementation so this is what I the compiler is expecting okay so if you try to instantiate an abstract class directly it will give you a compiler error it says can cannot instantiate an abstract class so that's why i am using a subclass if you see this in the left hand side i mean there is no change here one in the right hand side i am trying to push the subclass and I'm able to call this method. Okay, so let me explain it. So in the real world scenario, you will have an account. Okay, you will be having savings account or current account. There is no uh, concept of account directly. So why do we need here? See these accounts in the in our Java class we are using because there are common behaviors between current account and savings account. So those common behaviors should move to the base class so that I can reuse the code properly. There will not be any code duplication. And there are sp some specific things, specific behaviors for savings account and current account. Say for example, current account, the balance should be $10,000. For savings account, it should be $3,000. So there are sp some specific behaviors for savings account and current account. So for directly I can't have an object of this so I can instantiate this. This base class, abstract class is used for handling the common code between the concrete classes or specific classes. So one is to avoid the code duplication, one is the other one is programming to an interface. Programming to an interface means see for example this syntax account equal account account equal to new savings account. Here we are pushing the new object here. We are creating the new object and left hand side it becomes always same so I can push this calc uh, account to calculate interest method and the calculate interest method signature looks like this so if you see here account account so we are not coupling to any of these specific classes even if you have the third class third different class say um, a different account say C account something so which is related to stock or something so third account so I'm not coupling coupling to any of these methods. So it's an, it looks abstract. Okay, so I can push savings account to this method. I can push object of the current account to this method. It is decoupled, and it is a good practice for programming to an interface. So please remember, we cannot instantiate an instance of for abstract class. For abstract class, you cannot instantiate it you'll be getting a compiler. Hope this video is useful. Thank you and all the best.